I just finished a three week trip where I got to spend time with various members of my family in various states. I headed up to Indiana where I spent time with my daughter and her family, then down to Nashville where I spent a few days with my son and his family, and then on to Andalusia, Alabama where I got to see my aunt and cousin, whom I don't get to see very often. And then I ended up in Florida for several days where I spent some time with my mom and sisters, and then actually spent some time with my son and his daughters before I actually came back home home. All of this, thank you to Teachers Pay Teachers. Hello everyone, my name is Sherry from Rolling Gabers Education. Welcome to my channel or welcome back if this is not your first time. And I just want to again say how thankful I am that I discovered Teachers Pay Teachers. I was able to do this trip without having to get permission to leave, without having to get a sub, without having to make sub plans. I didn't have to answer to anyone. And I was able to uh, not dread coming back because I wasn't coming back to do something that, you know, put a lot of stress on me. I just came back to do more of what I was doing on my trip. And so I share this because I know it can be very uh, scary and discouraging and frustrating and it's a lot of hard work to start a new business, but I can tell you it is so worth it. And I am going to make a video sometime about the struggles and, you know, things I went through and sometimes when I wanted to quit, because maybe you don't realize that there have been times that I have wanted to quit. And so I just want to encourage you to, you know, put time into this. If this is your dream, if this is something you really want to do, then put the time in. It is so worth it. And so for this video, I am going to do another income report for October, November, and December of 2023. I still go back and forth, you know, do I want to keep doing these uh, income reports or not? I really think you get a lot more encouragement from the people who are just starting out and you can see what can be done in the beginning. But this is um, for, you know, still no real marketing. I do now finally have a few hundred people on my email list. But during this time that I'm going to be reporting, I only had uh, around 30 to 33 and was still not making any money from my email list. You can do this without marketing. It just takes a little bit of extra work in the beginning, I think. Um, but let's just get on with the income report. Uh, obviously, I'm going to start with October. And I'm just going to say that I had about 230 products in my store during this entire time. I'm not doing a lot of product creation right now because I'm going back and updating products, making them better, uh, and doing whatever I can to just increase sales on products that are already selling. And so it was, you know, 220 to 230 during this time, so, which is not a whole lot of products. Uh, it can be done with less than, you know, thousands of products. So. Anyway, during October, I had 6,707 views as compared to 3,606 last year. If you watch my videos, you know that views is views are what I'm really, really working on right now because that is what I need. I'm just not getting enough eyes on my products. So I was really excited about that. My conversion rate was 15%, which seems to be my conversion rate now. Uh, my overall conversion rate is uh, around 14 to 15%, it goes back and forth. So 15% seems to be it for me. Last year was 17%. Um, this year I sold 1,048 products as opposed to 630 last year. And I made $3,805. So I was very excited about that. And that was compared to 2,074 last year. So getting close to $2,000 uh, jump from last year and I was very close to that 4,000 which I was really wanting to see but oh, let's move on to November in November my views went up to 7,973 almost 8,000 I am really really wanting that $10,000 $10,000 yeah I like that too 10,000 views a month it more than doubled the year before which was 3,216 my conversion rate was 15%, and it was also 15% the year before. Um, I sold 1,228 units, and that's opposed to, compared to 490 the year before. And I made $4,080 compared to $1,454 the year before. And I just wanna say, I'm pretty sure that's more than I ever made in a year of teaching, if not, I mean a month of teaching. I taught in very low income schools. Now, I take that back. When I was in Florida, 
I probably did make $4,000 in a month, but that's because I did not have a planning period and it's not worth it. I had to go home and work. Um, and so it, I would rather have less money and more time. So I am thrilled with $4,000. I know it's probably not gonna stay that every month right now, but, but if I did it one month, I can do it again. So let's go on to December, and I'm gonna have a lot to say about December in another video, so be sure and watch for that. I'm sure it's gonna be the next one. And so in December, my last significant day of sales was the 21st, as you know, Christmas break. Uh, teachers are not buying products, which I am so glad. I'm glad they are home thinking about their family instead of what they're gonna be doing when they get back to school. I had a few sales here and there uh, towards the end of the month, but basically, 21st, that was it. And so I had 5,927 views as opposed to 2,778 last year. Again, almost double, or actually more than double, more than doubled. Uh, my conversion rate was 15% as opposed to 22% last year. As you know, as your uh, views go up, there's a tendency that your conversion rate is going to go down, but that's, that's good. It still works out to more money, as long as it doesn't go down too much. Um, I had Sold 925 units as opposed to 613 the year before and made $2,994.54 and that's up from 1,563 the year before. Now again, I'm going to say a lot more about December in another video, but I just want to say that I was discouraged at first and then I started thinking, okay, number one, that's for 21 days. Number two, that's almost $3,000, and you're thinking in your mind you made $2,000, because that's what I was. I was thinking, gosh, I'm back down to $2,000, and I'm like, no, you're not. You're almost $6, we're $6 away from $3,000. So we just need to be careful, especially comparing month to month. You should be looking at your growth from year to year and not month to month. So again, if this is your first year, don't be discouraged if you don't make more money every month. You've got to wait till the next year and make sure that you are seeing growth year to year. Uh, by the way, for the quarter, I had $10,880. For the entire year, I made $23,198. And my overall earnings are now just over $35,000. So I hope that this is encouraging to you because I think that it is so worth the time that you will put in <clears throat> to make this business work. And remember, you make it work. This business doesn't work for you. You work for your business. And if you're interested in finding out more about starting a TPT store, I have a guide below that helps you pick a niche that is not only profitable, but that maybe you might not have to market so much. And uh, you will be on my email list, but I'm not selling anything right now. You'll just get tips every week. So I hope that you had a good month in December, and I hope you'll just remember that you've got this, God's got you, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.